about, did they? Beg your ring. Well, the doctor, of course. Don't be Uncle Willie. Why did you do that? Don't you see? We don't know how he got like this. We don't know what caused it. He could be in trouble. We don't know how badly hurt he is either. Don't he can't tell us. We can't take a risk of an outsider coming in till we find out what's behind it. Well, what about the risk we take leaving him here? <laughs> Frankie, what happened? I don't know. What happened, mate? I'm sorry. You're sorry? For what? I forgot to give you back your key when I left. I forgot your key. I kept, um, kept your key. Oh, strike me. What does the key matter? I'm sorry, Pato. Look, forget about the key. It was mum. What about your mother? I can't go home bashed up. For Pato's. But you're here now, Frank. You're at Pato's. It's all right, see? Be all right, Pato. Frankie, listen. Who did this to you? Oh, he's gone again. We're going to try and get him up to bed. Reckon we can do it, Peg? Hold it, mate. Now, take it easy. Well, keep clear of him, Peg. You don't know what he's doing. It's likely the club here in the state he's in. <coughs> That's more like it. I'm up to get his shoes off now. I think his mother ought to know. Well, that's why he came here, so she wouldn't see him. But how do you think she'll feel when he doesn't get home all night? Uh, yeah, you're right there. She better know. I'll go and give Jack Kelly a ring. Jack? Why Jack Kelly? Because Mrs. McCoy isn't on the phone. And get rid of the claret, will you, Peg? The claret? The blood, get it off his face. It don't look nice. Not for his mother to see if Jack brings her around here. Uh, Bob, I got it, don't you see, I got it. Oh, give me a chance, will you? I got it, you fuck. Take it easy. Take it easy. Put him to bed. Is he badly hurt, Peg? Oh, he's still unconscious. Look, we'd better not all go up together. It'll look like a wake. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yes, I know, Jack. Well, you go up first, then, Mrs. McCoy. Will you come with me, Jack? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, he's in the second room on the left. Right. Come on, Marjorie. We'll wait in the kitchen. Who did it? Well, he's not making any sense yet. What does the doctor say? We haven't had a doctor. Well, why not? Because there's too much we don't know about. Look, there's this. Where did all this come from? We don't know yet. <sighs> so much money. Yes, I haven't counted it properly, but I'd say there's about $400 here. Four hundred? But this is what worries me most. This was in his wallet, too. Well, this must be the bit he cut out of the Herald about the murder. There seems to be a lot going on around here that I don't know anything about. I think you'd better tell me everything, Peg. Everything you know, everything you suspect, everything. He seems to be resting quiet now. Are we right, Mick, not getting a doctor? Well, that's up to you, isn't it? Well, wait till the morning. If he's not right, then... Oh, we'll be right by then. He's just like his old man was. Sam? Well, I mean, I've seen Sam more than once when you wouldn't have given tuppence for him. 
And in the morning, well, he was as right as rain. Oh. I mean, he's the kind who comes good again quick, like Sam. Yes, like Sam. Bought some pyjamas and things around for him. Pyjamas? Oh, he'll need pyjamas to sleep in, won't he? I can't see him in a pair of yours. You're the wrong shape. You've got a point there. I'll see that he gets into them later. Well, I've seen him. I can't do any more. No, I'll drive you home, Jean. Thanks, Jack. We we'll wait downstairs for Margie, if it's all right with you. Hey? Well, he'll want to see her when he comes round, won't he? Oh, yeah. We'll wait in the kitchen, if you don't mind, Mick. Have a cup of tea. Tea, yeah. You know the way. Sure. Help yourselves. So this couldn't be the money that was taken from Hardman's safe? No, that was in tens. Can I have the paper then? What do you want it for? I won't know till I get up there, will I? Mrs. McCoy, is... He hasn't come round yet. When he does, I think you're the one he'll want to see first. We'll wait for you and Jack will drive you home. All right, then. Go on, sit down, Jean. Go on. I'll make the tea for you. Thanks, Jack. thing to have, Myra, a knife like that. It isn't Myra, it's me, Margie. That's my head. Head's hurting. I tried to, tried to tell them and they didn't want to know. You tried to tell who? What time, I didn't have the money. I had to be tonight. Tonight I had it, wads of the stuff. Where, Frankie, where did you get it? My toss chopper, up in the blue, I'll hit him. My chopper. Frankie, listen, try to concentrate. All right, Chopper. So you won a little back. You played two up. Is that it? You won the money playing two up? Myra, I've got to have my money back, do you see? <laughs> you skeet. What will you do if Myra doesn't give you the money back? <laughs> on a character as cautious as Alfred Hardman. Can you beat it? He's got a list of all the numbers in his safe for the stolen nuts. He's giving me the police. The police? If we've got to beat it, it's too much money. We'll never explain all this to the cops. And then you gave the money to Myra. Myra? Myra. <laughs> Frankie, look at me. I'm Margie, right? Now take a look at this. I killed her, Skeet. Just as sure as if I'd stabbed the knife in her with my own hand. She must have done it herself, but it comes up to the same thing. Blows this bust us up forever, doesn't it, Scoot? Not if you tell me everything. Well, I met her that... 
that night after we had our big bust up, that Saturday after I shot through from the army, I met her at one of those dance places up the cross. I was feeling pretty low and angry. I didn't care much. She was pretty. And... Yeah, I've seen a picture. Well, I acted a fool and she laughed and we both laughed. And... Must have been a nice change for you after me. I'm not blaming you, Skeet. How did she get the knife? She liked it. She asked me for it. She liked a knife? She's the sort of girl, well... She made you feel sort of soft towards her, see? Ah, no, you wouldn't. Not if you didn't know the sort of life she led. True romance books and all that. You're nothing real. Were you part of her dream, Frankie? Well, she had this dream about going up the snow, and I gave her a little bit of money just to help the dream along. And when you found out it was stolen money you'd won in the two-up game, and the police had the numbers, you wanted it back. How did you know all this? Oh, it doesn't matter. Go on, tell me the rest. Well, it's about it. She sort of went all to pieces and kept yelling at me that I wanted the money for another girl. Did she have the knife then? I mean, did she have it in her hand before you left? No. No, I'd forgotten about the knife. I was all shaken up myself and I'd never seen anyone like that before. And then you came to me for help and I didn't give it to you. I sent you away. Frankie, you've got a lot more money now. Keith Grayson lent me that bloke I knew in the army. They used to me now, but after all this, that's it. Now we can start again, Frankie, properly this time. What after I told you all this? Last week, Dorothy told me to grow up. Perhaps I have. I understand why you went with that girl. The Margie you used to know might never understood, but this one does. It's Keith. Dorothy doesn't live with us anymore. We had a fight the other night because of you, and now she's gone. Gone where? Oh, I'll tell you later. It's not important now. Maybe that was part of my growing up, too. See, you come before everyone, even my own family. Oh, it's Keith, if I can get clear of all this, Maybe we can work something out between us, you and me, the way we want it. Well, we can... Oh. You've talked enough for tonight. There's all these things we haven't talked about. I know, Novel. We can do that tomorrow night. Myra and the money and... And the what? army. I think we'll ever agree about the army, you and me. Well, it'll all be fixed up tomorrow night. Same place, same time. Sure, Skip. Jack. I'd better see you inside. I'd like you to. We've got the time. You don't have to worry about him, Jean. He'll be as good as new tomorrow. Just like Sam? That's what Mick said. Frankie's just like Sam. I could have clocked him when he said it. He only meant that Frankie's strong, like his father was. I lived with Sam McCoy for 15 years. I loved him most of that time. I'd be wrong to say I didn't. But there were things about him that didn't make life easy, not for himself or anyone that was close to him. He was born a battler. And he got worse. Frankie's got to lose those things. He's got to, Jack, or all his life will be nothing but trouble for himself and anyone with him. Margie's told us the whole story. I reckon she'll make him see straight tomorrow night. You think she can? Look, after what he's been through in the last week, even Frankie ought to be ready to listen to reason. He's got to go back to the army, Jack. If he doesn't, he'll start up wrong and finish wrong, too. Yeah, that's the big one. Still, I'll put my money on Margie talking him into doing the right thing. Words? Talking to Frankie doesn't get done what has to be done. He's stubborn. Words don't move him. Same as they didn't with Sam. There's only one way. Just to act. Well, according to what Margie said in the car, they're back in the old routine again. You know, same place, same time. Well, that's good, isn't it? Same place, same time. The old routine. Is that good? If he's back with Margie again, it is. Is Margie strong enough? She's young, she's in love with him. 
No, I can't leave it to Margie. I've got to do it myself. Make sure of it. Hey, if you mean what I think you do... I've got to act. Make sure the right things happen. Tomorrow night, Jack. I've got to do it. Square with them blokes after last night. Oh, I don't want you having no trouble with them hanging around your pub. It's not for them, it's for you. Well, if you put it like that, thanks, Frankie. Well, better be getting along. It's so much time to meet Margie. Yeah, well, good luck, mate. I reckon luck's going my way for a change. Hey, how are you feeling? Your ribs all right? Uh, I felt worse than live. Frankie! You ever heard a knocking? <laughs> I didn't expect to see you here. No, you would not expect me. Here, what is this? Do you want everyone in the bar to hear? No, we came in without knocking. I will not be here again. Look, it's Frankie he wants to talk to. Why don't we go out and leave them on their own? No, both of you stay and hear it. Look, it's my pub. You be safe, Hedda. Go on. I see the paper last night. I see the knife that killed that girl. Look, he did not the... Clean finish, Pedder. I know my own knife. The one you take from me. I remember, too, you tell me you give a girl four ten dollar notes. Yeah, I told you that. I believe in you. Make something big of you. And all the time, you're only someone who kills a girl. Demetrius, I... haven't finished yet. Look at this. What is it? A letter I get today from Peter, my brother. He will go to Vietnam, and you run away from the army. Looks like you put your money on the wrong horse, don't it? Sometimes it happens that way, kid. With me, it will not happen again. From now on, I stay with my own people. Strike me, why didn't you tell him? What difference does it make? I had a crash sometime. I'm glad he found out for his sake. At least now he knows I'm a human being and not a bloody hero. I'll see you. Where are you going? To meet someone who's starting to accept me for what I really am. Women. Maybe one day I'll understand them. Man paints his own mystery of woman. Then spends the rest of his life trying to solve it. Pato, the great philosopher, has spoken. Pato, the great reader. I read that bit myself in the Sun Herald. Uh, well, I don't suppose we'll ever see that kid around here anymore. Demetrius. Oh, we'll never see Frankie again. But you know, it really doesn't matter. Why not? Because Frankie, without knowing it's done him a favour. He now have to make decisions for himself. Come on, we've got work to do. McCoy. You didn't tell me it was going to be a foursome. I think you better come along with us. Same place, same time. Frankie, I didn't tell them. Just come along. You bitch.
in a hurry. Well, can I give you a lift? Somewhere along the way to Pata. Anyway. My dear chap, hop in. 